regulators rejected plans for a crypto ETF. Nevertheless, the world's number one digital currency has been on the come up over the last months, more than 30% higher. So what's the best strategy for riding the crypto roller coaster? Our next guest says passive management. Joining me now is Ali Hassan, Crescent Crypto Asset Management CEO and co-founder. His firm's flagship fund takes a passive approach. How much is in there? What does it do, Ali? So we have about 20 uh, coins in our fund. Uh, what our fund does is captures the value of the overall cryptocurrency blockchain asset class. We've positioned the fund in a way that uh, it's a long-only unleveraged asset uh, that solves the complexity-free access uh, vehicle for uh, retail and institutional investors. We offer our fund in the U.S. and internationally, and like Mike Novogratz said, you have to be uh, an international innovator and open up your um, investment management capabilities because this is a borderless asset class. Ali, it's a volatile asset class and you're long only. You've been looking for some 50 million or so in terms of assets under management. How has interest and money flows to your funds gone since we've seen the sell-off and then slow bend towards up next again at $8,000 for yeah, It's a good question. It is a significantly uh, volatile asset class. What we've done is uh, we've reduced the volatility of the asset by holding 20 uh, coins with slightly different levels of correlation and using a 90-day trailing average market cap. What that does is it mutes the overall volatility of the portfolio relative to just Bitcoin alone. Our investors have been happy. We have not had a single um, redemption. And and we're excited to say that we're seeing tremendous uh, um, demand both internationally and in the U.S. The elephant in the room is U.S. investors like passive investments. Um, it is a really good way to get exposure without taking manager bias. It's a lot cheaper and it's a lot more efficient both tax-wise and fee-wise. So um, the demand is there and we're plugging in that demand. Ali, you just raised a Series A. You say that you want to list products on traditional exchanges. You want to be launching a suite of multi-coin ETFs. We've just seen the knockback from the SEC, the second ETF being put forward by the Winklevoss Gemini Exchange. When do you think we will get an ETF into the market? When will we see yet more institutional activity because of this opening up of the asset class? Yeah, uh, it's a, a chicken and the egg problem. Um, the SEC wants to see investor protection specific for retail investors. And uh, what the community is saying is that these passive vehicles will actually increase the um, uh, participation in the market and reduce some of those concerns. We do think that a product is coming soon. Um, perhaps in the next 18 months, we'll probably see a Bitcoin-only ETF. There are some really interesting products on the market right now. Um, uh, the Van Eck product is something that uh, we like to look out for. Um, those are all single coin products. Uh, the, what's really exciting is these multi coin products, and I think that's what's going to transition the ecosystem from just access into looking at this as a significantly different asset class that's uncorrelated. 